that same mistake again. So I think just moving on and putting it in the past is you know the best way into winning a game. How tough is it to shake one of those off when you're in, you know, situation like this though? When obviously the last is overtime, how tough was it to shake it off and just how'd you do it? Uh, you know, I just try to play like it was zero zero. <clears throat> as soon as it hit overtime, and, you know, I told my guys, you know, we just gotta get down and win these next five minutes. <coughs> and uh, you know, I felt like we did that. Take us through your three pointer there. I mean, in terms of when did you realize? That you had to put it up at the buzzer there. Uh, I think when I was coming off, I heard one of the coaches say shoot it, and uh, you know I knew the time was running down, so I didn't have enough time to drive it. So you know I knew just coming off that screen, I'll have a pull up and not just shot it. Talk about the huddle and over by before overtime, you would lost the late lead. What was it? What was the atmosphere there? Uh, before the overtime? Yeah. Uh, you know, Georgetown, they're, they're a really good team, and they definitely just slowed the pace. You know, we were up eight with like a minute to go, and they just came back, and we just didn't really get down and play defense like we could have. But I mean, that huddle going into overtime, I mean, what was said there after you guys had just lost that lead? Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, just get down and play hard. I mean, we just basically said just throw it all on the line because, you know, we're not playing tomorrow, we're not playing until next Sunday. So uh, we just gave it our all. Yeah, Cook, Cook said you hit a lot of those uh, shot clock three pointers in practice. Uh, you know, what, what goes your mind, through your mind? I mean, did you feel like you even had a halfway decent look at it or, or not? Or was it just kind of. Or Kill Stark said, let uh, it go. I pretty much just let it go. It kind of felt natural. It definitely did feel good. So. I mean, it was kind of a prayer shot, but <laughs> I'm glad that it went. Talk about how you know your big three pointers. Um, the, you know, your team had a couple other big threes to kind of start some runs or to kind of cap some off. Talk about how that momentum kind of helped you guys tonight. Uh, that momentum helps a lot, and you know, especially the fans making that place just loud. Definitely got our energy going. You know, especially on the bench and everything. And, you know, that just carried over onto the court, and uh, you know, that just sparked up and just made us just one one more. Yogi, you've played in a lot of big games in uh, your career. Where does this rank in terms of atmosphere and uh, just crowd noise and everything? <laughs> it's definitely up there. Uh, I've played in a lot of close games. Probably number one, I'd say so. Especially just winning for a championship as well. And, uh, you know, the atmosphere was great. It was loud. I said it was number one. You're stepping in as a freshman uh, and starting for the number one team in the country. You know, a lot of good players around you. I mean, how have they accepted you this year? And, uh, into the whole mix. Uh, they just like accepted me greatly. I feel like they know that you know I'm a pass first point guard, so you know I'm always looking to try and drive in the lane and hit them because I mean I know they're knocking me down probably 90% of the time, and they definitely do that well. So you know, I just tell them, give me the ball on the break, and you'll get it right back. And I think they do that.